The only reason to pay over $200 for a scan tool in 2024 is if it's got bi-directional support and it actually works. So in my hand, I have the Launch X431 Pro Elite. And let's see if this checks all those boxes. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So my name is Randall Fix and I test a lot of different scan tools. And this right here is a fully functional bi-directional scan tool. At least that's how it's advertised. So we're gonna be putting the X431 Pro Elite to the test. I'm gonna go and show you guys what's included in the box. I'm gonna try it on a couple of different vehicles. And towards the end of the video, I am gonna go ahead and give this a random fix tool grade so you guys can decide for yourself. Now let's take a look at what's included. You get the tablet itself and the OBD2 cable right here. And we'll talk about the tablet in a couple of minutes. It came nicely packaged in this box right here. And it comes with a hard shell box. And inside that box, you get this letter, which is super important, as this has your activation pin. So do not go and lose that. And one thing I did want to mention when I was activating the unit, I did have a little bit of trouble. So go ahead and create your username first, then activate. And as far as the hard shell box, the scanner fits flush in here and it will protect it. You do have to unscrew it anytime you are putting it back, since this is a wired connection, which some people actually prefer. And as a pro tip, when you are storing it, put it down face forwards. We also get the USB-C charging brick, different power tips for different regions of the world, owner's manual, and a port cover if you want to protect the pins. So I definitely like the extra storage in the box. And now let's talk about the unit itself. It's got a nice size screen on here, and it has three gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, and with all the updates installed, I still have 43 gigs available. There's a nice grip on the side. Up top, we have a power button, a USB-C charging port, so I can use my Android charger on here, no problem. Another USB port, maybe for possible expansion. On the back, we have a kickstand. Has a lot of nice resistance, so it's not gonna just cave in. And we have a camera, and we can take pictures. We can go ahead and record. And it does have a small flashlight built into the camera, which is decent. And this is running Android 10. Let's talk about updates. So this unit comes with two years of updates included. And after two years, your unit will still continue to work. However, you will not get new updates. So for most people, this is okay. And if you decide to renew, it'll cost you $199 to renew. Now let's jump into the launch icon. And this is the main layout right here. And there's a lot of different buttons. The most important being these two right here. And when we click on this, we're able to go ahead and read information from the vehicle. And one thing that I do like about this is in case you didn't make a mistake, you can just go ahead and hit back. It'll take you to the previous screen. Service functions. And this is going to be the 31 special functions that are available. And as a pro tip, just because an item is listed doesn't mean that it applies to your vehicle. So always email the vendor, your VIN number, and ask for a list of supported functions. And I'll try to include their email address down below. So this was advertised with 37, but it actually has 31. So maybe the special services are actually spread out. As this has a little bit of a confusing menu, we have a TPMS function here, software update function. And this is how easy it is to go and update. Select and hit update. And right now I'm about 25 feet away from my wireless router. So this is pretty fast. So we just got an update for the TPMS. We have a diagnostic history feedback. Does this support ADAS? For ADAS, you are going to need special equipment. So always do your own research on your vehicle. There's a mall where you can buy additional software. But 90% of the vehicles that we drive, like the Toyotas and Hondas, Chevys, Fords, are already installed on the device. There's a vehicle coverage, info center, user information, and modules. And the Pro Elite does support CAN-FD and DOIP for some of the newer Jaguars, BMWs, 
And now let's go ahead and talk about the tool itself. So it's definitely got this nice rugged feel to it. Definitely feels good. Feels solid. And this does support 8-in-1 graphing, which we'll take a look at later on. And connecting this to the vehicle is super easy. It just slides into place. Have the ignition or the engine on, depending on the vehicle. And hit intelligent diagnosis. The X431 Pro Elite will go ahead and connect to the vehicle, read the VIN, and decode all the information. And one thing that I like about this particular unit is the fact that the vehicle's voltage is displayed right up here. And you want to ensure that your voltage is above 12 so you don't ruin any new components as you're trying to program them. And you're not going to get bad data when you are troubleshooting. And on this screen, we have the health report, system scan, system selection, special functions, ADAS. And I'm going to go and select the PCM here. And these are the different modules I can access for this Dodge. And now we have the actuation test, special functions. And to the right, we have data streams. Let's take a look at the data streams first, as I can actually graph up to eight at once. And here we go. Let's start the car. So that's pretty cool. Eight in one graph. That works. And there's 218 fields available. And up top, they have a quick search too which makes things really easy. Actuation tests. Here's the different actuation tests that we can perform. And recently I did clean the throttle body on this vehicle and I'll show you guys a video and you guys can judge for yourself if this was successful. So I just cleaned the throttle body on my vehicle here and let's see if we can actually do the Throttle body relearn. Choose Dodge. Ignition is on. Automatically search. I just heard the throttle body. I'm going to push the accelerator all the way to the floor. The accelerator is pushed all the way to the floor. I'm going to release it. It's released. Okay, it says it's complete. Okay, throttle body is working. Let me try the phaser one cleaning as well. And this is really the reason why you should be buying this scan tool is because of these bi-directional functions. One is clean and it's clean number two now. So that went well. I did intake and exhaust phaser cleaning for one and two. Now let's go to the body control module. Actuation tests. And let's just say I was having a problem with the rear brake lights and they were not turning on. And I was not sure if it was the shifter, the bulb, or maybe the wiring. I can quickly hit on and go see it for myself. Car is not in reverse. The reverse lights are on. And I can also toggle the reverse lights here. And I could even change the size of the tires, which is pretty nice, as a lot of other scan tools show this. But this one actually lets you do it. And this unit does come in a wireless version as well. And I think that's why that message is displayed. So I wish they actually disabled that on the wired version, as it doesn't make much sense. And on this main auto detect page here, we also have a scan history and also a quick access. And the quick access brings me to the same screen. And I think navigating this unit is a little confusing as a lot of times there's just duplicate menus and it can just leave you in a tailspin. We have local diagnostics and under local diagnostics, we can choose the region the vehicle is from. And basic OBD2 is right here. And this device does work for most vehicles by 99.99 of them. that are 1996 and newer. Under the immobilizer reset, I'm supposed to be able to program a key using this particular scan tool. And I'll show you guys the message that I get. Okay, so I am getting an error message here. I have programmed 
two keys for this vehicle myself. And again, if a feature is not available right now, doesn't mean it won't be in the future. All right, let's try one more here on this Dodge. So I recently changed the oil on this vehicle. And let's see if I have any issues with this. On certain vehicles, you really need a scan tool like Audis and Porsches. It reset, no issues. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up because I really do put a lot of time and effort into the video. Now we are in a 2019 Jeep. And let me show you guys what happens. So that way you're not surprised. So this does have FCA authorization. And when you get to the screen on one of these newer vehicles, you are going to go and have to sign up for this. This is $50 a year. And one thing that's really nice about the X431 is that you can buy some bypass cables and actually bypass this gateway. So you could potentially save the money. And I think it's pretty cool. I haven't actually tried it myself. But if you guys want to see me try it, please comment down below. Now I'm connected to a hybrid Toyota here, and this menu looks a little bit different as we have some more options. There's a customization in here, so I can go ahead and customize all the following. For example, if I wanted to turn off a warning light or a beeping noise, I can go do that through warnings. And depending on the year of your vehicle, you can go ahead and activate factory hidden features, which basically allow you to roll the windows up and down using the remote and roll them up with the remote. And then there's even functions like remote start that need to get activated and scan tools like this will help you do it. And here's the different warnings I can alter or turn off. And here is a real time of the health report for this vehicle. So that was pretty fast. Again, I can go ahead and save this as a report. And if I was using this for a shop, I can go ahead and brand it to the shop. Let's go to this engine check. And let's see if we can shut off fuel to all the cylinders. It is on, but it is not running good. And there it goes when I turn it back on. I can definitely hear the difference. Sometimes when I'm recording these videos, it can be pretty hot. So I really do try to put a lot of time and effort into this. And I'll leave you guys some links at the end of the video, as well as in the video description box down below, if I find any special pricing. And if you guys are enjoying the video, do not forget to hit the thumbs up button, as I really do appreciate it. And now I'm going to go and give this a random fix tool grade, so you guys can decide for yourself. And I do want to thank the vendor for sending me this, guys. And as always, I'm going to keep my review honest and my scoring model in line with what you can expect from this X431 Pro Elite. And overall, I like the unit. However, at times I felt like it was incomplete. When I get the reminder to remove the VCI from the vehicle, it's kind of annoying because I know this is not a Bluetooth device. This is a wired device. And the menu system is kind of complicated. It's not very easy to navigate. Additionally, certain service functions, such as the immobilizer, did not work. However, I have used less expensive scan tools to go ahead and complete that. So I know it's possible. And overall, I'm going to go and give this a random fix tool grade of 74 out of 100, which is a really good score. And they'll continue to go and update these units and make them better and easier to navigate. And I'll leave you guys links to this and that special Chrysler cable in the video description box down below. At the end of the video, I'll leave you guys some end cards that you can click on in case you want to learn more about scan tools. And if there's anything that I forgot to mention in this video that you feel is important, please let me know what it is so I can incorporate it into another video. Thank you so much and make it a great day.